My name is um, uh, Juan Tata Justa Salita. I am a lecturer in the Department of Industrial Design and Technology. And uh, I've been with the department for a very, very long time, where I've been teaching um, two streams. Um, we, we actually teach students who end up being design and technology teachers. Uh, as well as those that are going to be industrial designers. Um, this year, we have a few projects that we want to showcase, and those projects have been made by our uh, final year students, and they range from quite a number of uh, uh, projects. Uh, the good thing is that these projects were actually initiated by the students, in other words, it is uh, the student who came up with a, a solution of a problem that they would have identified in the society. Uh, so um, I'll be taking you around so that you can see what the projects are and um, how they've been formulated um, and the like. Okay, what we do is um, when students arrive from wherever they will be coming from to our department, we take them through the basics of design, one of which is um, sketching. You know, you know this um, work that you are actually looking at is the work that was done by a student, a very fresh student, who probably had no idea about what um, design is all about, or they just didn't know how to sketch. So we take them through all the stages of sketching. Um, you recall that sketching is very, very important. This is where a student will actually capture whatever is, is in their mind, and they will actually take it from their heads onto paper, so that everything that they will be thinking about is actually captured in paper form. Right. And then once the student has actually put their idea on paper, we now introduce them into computers where they actually transfer what they would have drawn initially onto a computer. And then they'll be able to model the drawings um, in picture form, as you, you can see in these illustrations. Um, we teach students on um, Photoshop, right? Uh, it's one of the packages that we use here uh, in, the, in, the, in the faculty or in the department. Um, yeah, um, what is interesting is that as soon as students have mastered um, the packages, um, they can do the drawings on their own. We don't have to be behind their backs. We don't have to push them. Um, but they, they, they are able to just do things on their own. Right, um, once the student has, has mastered the art of, of sketching, right, this is where now we call for their science knowledge. In other words, whatever they have, what they have learned that is um, scientific, you know, they have to now apply that in, in, in product form. So what you see here, is a result of the knowledge that has been accumulated over years. Um, that knowledge um, is, is, it comes from science, it comes from the basic engineering and, and the basic mathematics. Right? You cannot uh, uh, end up designing things like that without the basics um, of science, the basics of maths, and, and, and so forth. So this project is actually, I call it a workstation is an ergonomically designed workstation for a disabled student. So we use the knowledge of science, the knowledge of engineering, and then the knowledge of design. The three of them combine them to produce a product like this. It's a, it's a workstation. What happens is the student, um, because they don't have uh, limbs or they don't have hands or arms, so they would put the laptop here and then um, use this as a backrest, and then they will tap their work with their tools. So it's one of the projects that has won um, a prize um, as, as, as the best um, performing product for this academic year. Um, it was actually done by one later from Swaziland. I happened to supervise a student 
um, because of my background in, in, in ergonomics, I was able to supervise this product. Okay, this machine here is a vegetable cutting machine. Um, a student identified a, a problem within the community and then he came here um, with the intent to solve that problem. And the end result is this particular machine. Um, you can move closer so that you can see um, where the student was testing the project. And you can see the vegetables here. Um, and, and then it even includes the packaging of the vegetables um, um, that would have been cut by this particular machine. Okay, this is a, a recycling unit. Um, what happens is that um, you actually take a can, crush it here. After crushing it, you throw it into this particular hole. And then the um, crushed can will activate a system inside here. And then you get your reward in the form of a quay coming from this particular system. Um, I, I like it because it's, 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 it's actually more to do with um, the environment. The student was actually trying to solve a problem which has, uh, which has something to do with the environment cleanliness and all that. Um, you can look inside here and, and, and really... Um, this is the metal fabrication um, workshop where we deal with the metals. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that we've been able to acquire this machine. It's a laser cutter, right? And it has actually made um, students work quite easy because they can come here and cut whatever shape they want to cut. Uh, before, they would actually use their hands and that would take more time it was never going to be very um, precise and all that. So this laser cutter helps the students to cut um, uh, precise shapes and then uh, whatever shape that they want to cut, they can use this particular machine to cut it. But as you can see, it's a, a computer controlled system, right? Where you actually design whatever you want to design in a computer and then you come and uh, fit it into this particular uh, machine uh, and then you will be able to cut whatever you would have designed. Okay, these machines, for you to be able to operate in them, you have to have the basis of mathematics and science. Uh, for example, I spoke about precision cutting and all that. And uh, although it's an in the, in the engineering term, uh, there's a lot of mathematics and science involved in those. Um, operations. So it's important for you to have a basis of science and mathematics to be able to operate these machines because they work um, um, using coordinates and so forth. So, um, and, and, and actually numbers, you know, I wanted to say numbers. So you cannot actually um, be comfortable using these machines when you don't have uh, that knowledge of, of numbers. Yeah, so earlier on I spoke a lot about the game of numbers that um, when you use these machines um, you are going to be using coordinates and all that so um, it's important like I have said that you have to have the basics of mathematics so these are some of the things that we, you can make up out of this machine from using this machine it's actually a laser uh, cutter um, I'm going to show you some of the examples that have been cut using this machine um, this is a um, an elephant, uh, what you do is you actually draw this into a computer and then that computer can communicate with this machine to make all these components. But you have to have specific measurements for each component, right, for you to be able to complete this particular product. Other projects that you can actually derive from using this system here, um, it has a bit of art in it, right, artwork can be um, made from this particular machine. Um, yeah, like I said, um, you've got to understand um, um, numbers because these computers they work a lot um, uh, by using numbers. Right. Another machine that I want to introduce to you is what we call the router machine. Um, this particular machine is called a router. 
Um, you can make, uh, you can actually cut large boards using this particular machine. Again, it's a computer control machine where you have a computer communicating with the machine to do whatever you want to, to do with this particular machine. Um, like I have said, some of the projects that you see from outside here were made using this particular machine where the student designed whatever they wanted to design then to cut the parts, they come into this lab and then use that computer together with this particular machine to cut those uh, parts and then they can do the assembly later on.